I'm Anna Young, the owner of this establishment, Gods and Monsters, pop culture retail, and our little hidden bar in the back, speakeasy style. It's themed like a fallout shelter. We call it Vault 5421. I've been dealing in comics since the 90s. I was a big collector of uh, comics and toys myself. Like I worked for KB Toys and, and Techno Comics in the mall in Altima back in the day. Then I started organizing art events in the area around 2000 and was doing that for a good 15 years or so. As I started seeing the trend for pop culture, like, you know, comics were becoming pop culture and not nerd culture. Not so much just you know, a geek underground thing. So I started tying in all the art events because I was running fine art galleries in Winter Park and art directing and curating and all of that in the fine art world. So I started seeing the trend switch. I started doing events for different venues that combined all the art curating, bringing monthly themed art shows to different venues and bringing all this talent in to do cosplay like burlesque or belly dancing or whatever and tied in with all the events that I was doing. And they were all themed after comic books and pop culture. So I was able to finally bring in what I, my old passion with my ongoing art love when I met Todd. And then we just worked really well together. So we started coming up with our own, like, you know, let's do this for ourselves. Like we've both been in the business for so long. I don't want to just start doing it the way we want to do it. The shape reminded me of a fallout shelter. We've got scenic in here devoted to all our favorite post-apocalyptic comics, movies, games. So there's a lot of Mad Max and Tank Girl and stuff like Terminator and Alien and things like that in here. <laughs> well, I came up with the mood board for what I wanted. Like I pulled visuals from different video games and movies and stuff I wanted to put in. And I brought in my friend Jillian, who's known as Defense Mechanism in the area. She does amazing performance art. She does scenic work and stuff like that. She brought in her fiance, who ended up doing most of it in about six weeks of us doing overnights and in here and like everything I gave him visual visual for he made it physical. <laughs> so it was it was awesome. Our floor manager, I had no idea. I knew he did statues and models. I had no idea he did large scale. And he started coming in like on his days off and just I just felt like doing and then it was like new scenic elements were starting to go up and I was like, that's amazing. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> We've done Camp Mud with 13X Studios. He does a lot with Spooky, and like we had done the Spooky, Rescue Spooky event for them to help them recover when the hurricane hit and Spooky had to cancel that one year. We did that at a new location. A lot of the Spooky vendors set up every time we do a Camp Blood event. We've done, we did three of them here. All the Jason theming, and then we did a Freddy Krueger one, and we did like, a Christmas one, which was weird, with Krampus and stuff. <laughs> and now we're starting to do night parties with them. So it's, the things are working out really well too. So we have a bunch coming up on the trying to move. Funny, Todd makes fun of me. He's huge for him. So I'm, I'm a certain type of horror lover, and I love all the post-apocalyptic stuff, which is also considered, you know, in that. Like I love the Alien movies. It took me a long time. They scarred me as a child, but I got reintroduced as I was older, and I was like, oh, these are really visually amazing. 
for is something that's more designed to tap into your subconscious fear, you know, responses. Well, we're going to keep building up here. The more stable we get here, I'm starting to look at themed atmospheres, themed out lounges and like kind of recreational friendly areas because there's a niche that's not currently being fulfilled. Like there's a lot of dispensaries, there's nowhere for people to hang out with cool visuals and like, and there's not a lot of pop culture tie-in and stuff like that. It's exhausting, especially when you have a hiccup, like you almost go out of business and you have to start over again after pouring your whole soul into something and then trying to get that back again. And that was really tough, but, but did it. And it's still better than working for someone else, no matter, especially somebody who's more patriarchal minded, you know, like it's just, it's, it's a lot better. It's more um, empowering. I was told my whole life I couldn't do this by these men, like, you know, like, no, I did it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs>